All right, uh, let's start off with, uh, I don't like dubstep music. No, mainly because it sounds like a guy with a voice box made that, like, Hello, how are you doing today? Can I get a cigarette? Hey, how are you? Yes, hi, how are you doing today? Right, every time you hear it, it just sounds like he's saying no to you a bunch of times. No, 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 I've never seen the guy with the voice box have a regular job either. Where is that guy? I want to walk into a store sometime and just hear, Welcome to Walmart. I think that'd be the best. It's weird. I can make those sounds, but I can't move to them really well. It's like Asian guys making cars that can't drive. <laughs> yep. Yep. I don't even go to dance clubs anymore because I hear dubstep all the time. I don't like it. Like I was uh, last time I was out one, this girl started trying to back it up on me to a dubstep song. She's like, "You want this milkshake in your yard? You want this milkshake in your yard?" I was like, "I don't want that milkshake in my yard." You want this milkshake in your yard? I was like, "Get off me, woman!" Hi. <laughs> I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> Give me a soy shake. I only go to I only go to like rinky dinky bars now. I think that's the best place to go. I've had like some great times. Like I remember uh, one time I got really drunk there with this girl. I didn't know her, and we decided to go back to my place. Yeah, we get there. She uh, sits down on the couch. Uh, I go to the kitchen to get us another drink. I come back, and she's asleep on the couch. And I'm like, oh, it can't get any worse than this. What happens? I accidentally throw up on her. <laughs> what do I do? Wake her up, tell her she threw up on herself. I did this. I'm like, I know, me neither. <laughs> the next morning, she bought me breakfast, a new pillow. I was like, I need to throw up on people more often. <laughs> Love the drinking. I've been pulled over for drinking and driving. That's the worst, because you hear the cops are behind you, like, so please pull over. <laughs> A cop pulls me out of the car and he wants to give me the finger test. But I'm so drunk that I go, <gasps> You better call backup. <laughs> He's trying to make a run for it. I'm like, Oh, here comes the SWAT team. <laughs> won't do this, but uh, I'll date a girl after my buddy dumps her. What? I call it dumps her diving. <laughs> One man's trash is another man's treasure. That's how I, uh, I met my girlfriend now. And I know, was, I didn't know it was gonna work out because I'm not that hip. Like, I didn't know Blockbuster got shut down. I know, she told me to get her sent from the red box and I came back with tampons. I know. We live together now though. I like, I like that we live together. Uh, the only thing is like, sometimes she'll bring up stuff from my past. That's why I wish she was like a PlayStation. So whenever she did that, she's like, Steven, I told you time and time again, I could just pause her, go down her memory card, find out what she's talking about, erase it, insert my favorite movie, rewind it, play it again. Steven, I told you time and time again, welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> Soundtrack going on. 
My dad wants me to get married. Yeah, he's very religious, that's why. So he's like, he wants me, he's like, come on, Stevie, only one woman. Uh, this is how religious my dad is. I remember one day we're leaving church and we see his car about to T-bone us. Now most people, when they see a car about to him, they're just like, yeah. My dad looks over at me and goes, ready to see Jesus! <laughs> are in the air like he's on a roller coaster. <laughs> I'm like, Dad, grab the wheel. He's like, it's in God's hands now! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. My, uh, my girlfriend and my dad actually met in a really weird way. Uh, my girlfriend's really into technology, so she slept in front of the iPhone store when the new one came out to get it. And then later on that night, she came to meet up with me and my dad at a bar. And we come out to meet her, and she's like, oh my god, I got the new iPhone, I got the new iPhone, ah. And as she's doing this, this other girl comes up and uppercuts her in the eye and grabs the phone and runs off with it. I know, her eye's bleeding. She's like, Steven, what are you doing? Chase her. I was like, listen, woman, there's no reason for both of us to get beat up tonight. <laughs> She looks at my dad, she's like, what are you gonna do about it? He looks around and goes, it's in God's hands now! <laughs> when I was uh, nine years old, I really wanted a bike. And so I asked my parents for it, and I remember on my birthday, they woke me up, and they're like, go downstairs, do what we got you. So I run down there, and there's this dingy purple bike, and on the frame it read, princess. <laughs> I know. I started crying, I was like, I can't ride this bike, it's a girl's bike. My mom runs inside, comes back out with a knife and scrapes off two S's, so now it says Prince. <laughs> I thought everyone in the neighborhood was gonna make fun of me, it just turns out everyone thought I was a huge Purple Rain fan. <laughs> All right guys, thank you very much, I'm Stephen Briggs. <laughs>